when you start the servers that are to be the nodes in the cluster, start by naming these machines something like node 1, node 2, or whatever naming scheme that you want to use. These names have nothing to do with the Exchange server name which your Outlet clients will be configured to connect to later on. So after you do that, we need to go into the Network Connections and rename the Network Connections to Public and Private for the external and the internal networks respectively. Remember, you have to do this on both Node 1 and Node 2. So currently I'm logged in locally as administrator on Node 1. And I'm going to rename Area Connection 1 public and area connection to private. Now that you've renamed them, go to advanced, advanced settings. Here we're going to set the binding order. We want public to be the first in the binding order. So we want a public, private, and remote access connection. Now select private. Uncheck the file and printer sharing for Microsoft Networks hit OK. Now we need to go in and set the IP address, the TCP IP properties for both network cards. I've already configured the public for my test environment. Now we need to go and set the private. This is the private cluster heartbeat connection. So here we want to go into the TCP IP properties again. And we want to set an IP address, a private IP address, not one that's on your 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 public network scheme. So 192.168.1.1 is a good one for me. Uh, is subnet mask the default? We do not use a gateway, nor do we use DNS server configurations. So after you've completed that, go into Advanced, select DNS tab, uncheck Register this connection's address in DNS. Click the WINS tab. Uncheck Enable LM Host Lookup. Also select Disable NetBIOS over TCP IP. Hit OK three times. And you have now configured the network cards on node 1. Do the exact same thing on node 2. And then we will log back into node 1 and configure the cluster server.